Breaking news. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to the Dark and Darker show. We got some uh, interesting things to cover here. Past few days, got some new uh, things been posted. Not nothing too uh, clear, but we've got some interesting hints of what could be coming in the future. So let's check it out. Start with that first, and then we're gonna get into some uh, Dark and Darker school. We're gonna be watching some clips. I'll be trying to break them down, um, study what was done right, what was done wrong, see if we can learn how to play this game a little bit better. Um, then I might also play some uh, Star Siege or something else later, so let's get to it. So I'm going to hop over here to another tab. Uh, I figure I'll just keep this uh, lobby music going in the background. Let me go. Let me know if you guys like that, um, at least as far as while I'm covering some news here. Uh, so a couple hours ago, somebody posted this. Not sure exactly when it happened in actuality, but... It was discovered, you know, a couple hours ago. Uh, Iron Mace has posted a new logo for something called Blacksmith. Um, I confirmed this. This was posted on Reddit, but I confirmed it myself. It's in their press kit. So if you go to their website, ironmace.com, you scroll down. You can download the press kit, which is just a bunch of images, basically, for, their, uh, for Iron Mace, for Dark and Darker. But now, included in it, is for something called Blacksmith. So, and it's just that one logo. There's a folder. Uh, sorry, I can't show it. I was going to show it to you guys, but uh, yeah, it's got my name in it for the file path location, so I'm not going to show that. Um, but when you download it, it will has a folder for Iron Mace, a folder for Dark, Dark and Darker, and a folder for Blacksmith. And inside the Blacksmith folder is uh, that one image, this one back here. Yeah. So, interesting, we don't know what that is, so it's some type of, presumably, something that's distinctly different from Iron Mace, and distinctly different from Dark and Darker. Otherwise, why would they put it in its own folder, labeled Blacksmith? Um, let me see here, one second. See, this is the image I downloaded, it was in it. It says blacksmith with that same logo. And we scroll down, the people in the comments, they're speculating that it's a launcher, which <laughs> could be, that's exciting. That's what we're hoping for because they're not gonna be able to, uh, good chances, they're not gonna be able to get this on Steam or any type of um, platform like that anytime soon. So if they are gonna be releasing it into early access, they're gonna have to be most likely 100% gonna have to be doing it on their own launcher. So this could potentially be the name for that. At least that's what people think. I'm obviously, that's what we all, you know, copium, hopium, uh, hoping that it's gonna be that. Um, initially, my first thought before I read any of the comments, just seeing that, I was, I was like, you know, it's very similar to Iron Mace, Iron Mace Blacksmith, as far as the naming convention. Um, I was thinking maybe is it a different company or something like a somehow that's like a like you know, somehow you know a loophole they're gonna try to release uh, <laughs> Dank and Danker by Blacksmith Incorporated <laughs> instead of Dark and Darker by Iron Mace. <laughs> cough, cough, wink, wink, guys. Not the same game. Um, but no, that's probably not what it is. It probably is just like either like a launcher or something else. Um, I can't imagine it's another game or something that they've, that doesn't make sense. Um, also the name blacksmith seems kind of weird for a name, uh, at least as far as a game is concerned for an actual game, <laughs> unless they've got some mini game where you get to play as a blacksmith or something, some 2d, uh, mobile game or something <laughs> short small little game that's going to make them some money or something in the meantime i don't know <laughs> i guess we'll just have to see but it's exciting let's go through some of these comments here so yes number one guy here saying launcher everyone's just like yes please please <laughs> like all of us here Oh, 
Oh, the other thing I was going to say. So let go back to that. When I went to their website here, uh, sorry, one second. My cat is being a jerk. take him off the desk um, so when I went to their website here interestingly enough I was just on their website not that long ago sometime within the past month I think in the past couple weeks um, just you know looking at it seeing if there was anything different or whatnot that I could uh, see there but it looked the same from what I had seen it before you know months ago but uh, coming to it just now it looks different I know I you know don't hold me to it. I don't know for sure. It's just off of my memory, you know. It largely looks the same, but there is a couple things that look different to me. Maybe you guys will notice difference uh, differences too. But this right here, this image looks different. I don't recall this image being there previously. Or this image. These two images look updated um, within, you know, the past few weeks. That's obviously, uh, you know, that's like a concept art of like the castle but I don't recall seeing these two images or like reading this old magic you know I mean this looks new to me so this could potentially be they also updated these when they op updated the uh, the press kit another kind of oddity but you know they wouldn't be the first you'd be surprised how many websites are like this they've still got the 2022 um, <laughs> date down there at the bottom so even though they just, you know, updated that press kit, I guess. I mean, we, I guess we don't know exactly the date. I don't know if there's a way of um, checking. Maybe you guys who know um, website creation, um, HTML, CSS, and stuff. Perhaps there's a way of inspecting this, and when you inspect it, perhaps it'll tell you. I don't know if there's, or there's a way of, you know, searching this link here. I don't know if there's a way of being able to actually search and see when the last time the website was updated. Uh, I'm not an expert on website development. Um, and then they, their website too is just this one page. Like if you try to click on games, it just scrolls you down to this. Same thing with the social link. And then they've got their links to Steam, Twitter, YouTube, and email. Um, which I did check again. <laughs> Nothing new on the Steam, or um, I just checked their Twitter too. They didn't, hadn't posted anything super recent. Um, so that is potentially exciting stuff, and particularly when you compound it with everything else that's been coming the past like day or two. Um, so we got that, and then check out. Let's see this one first here. So SDF just posted this morning, um, which he's never done this regarding their videos. So they've uploaded, I don't know how many videos now, maybe like five roughly gameplay videos, six gameplay videos over the past couple months on YouTube. But every time they have never, they themselves, I should say, have never actually posted in the Discord to mention it. Um, like the mods have put like a post or not, not a post but a, you know a pinned comment it's like the discord's weird there's always like there's a thousand different ways of <laughs> doing things and phrasing things i guess um i'm kind of a noob when it comes to discord but uh they themselves which i always found odd none of the actual iron mace devs ever po would post the youtube link or anything in that um in the discord you know there was never like a community announcement there was no announcement no pop-up there was no alert um, it was always just if you saw the pinned comment by a mod or you're on their youtube page you know subscribe to it um, but we had this this morning sdf in uh in they got a pinned comment here from the uh, like general chat he says the next video will take another day or so which he's never done that as far as i'm aware um, and there was no, like, they're not on a schedule either. They'd never set any type of dates or anything like, oh, it's, they've never been like consistent either with like the dates, which is fine. They don't have to be, um, as far as when they release them. So like, this is a little misleading. Whoever posted this, it's not a delay. It's cause you can't delay something that doesn't have a release date. You know, <laughs> if it's not, there's no, like, there was no released window or date 
on them having a next gameplay video, then it's not a delay, it's just him letting us know, hey, we will be having another video, and it'll be in about a day or two, or whatever, you know, another day or so. Um, so that was this morning, and then, <laughs> but notice, even though this, even though they've been posting gameplay footage, every video has been gameplay footage, and that's what this title says, that's not what SDF says. We need to be very clear on the language here. Um, the next video will take another day or so. We don't know if that's gameplay. Perhaps this could be gameplay, but when you compound it with the fact that we have that new blacksmith image, which is some type of new um, entity of theirs, whatever that may be, new piece of software or whatnot, um, <laughs> that very well could be linked very good chance i guess we'll see that it's either in that video or in a video another video soon or some type of announcement so very exciting stuff <laughs> at least if you're addicted to this game like a lot of us are um and then let's compound it even further there's two more things here one of them i wasn't going to mention but i'll bring it up because i dig, dig deeper into it but i'll you know, give disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. This one I didn't get because I supposedly Grayson added uh, hold the line and is about me in the Discord. But I looked in the Discord, and again, I'm a noob when it comes to Discord, so maybe it's my fault. Um, but when I checked his um, profile here, it didn't. I didn't see the about me or this. So I'm not saying like you know 100% that this guy's. Uh, wrong or lying or whatnot. I'm just saying, hey, I can't confirm this. So take for that for um, what you will. But this was also posted here on Reddit today. So if this is true, that's another okay, interesting. <laughs> and then you know, way bigger than this, this one's kind of like the, even if this one is true, it's like kind of who cares? Grayson's been saying a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in um general chat and whatnot that don't end up being anything so this is definitely the least important one um, but way more important is this here so the game got a Peggy rating a few days ago supposedly which I believe is the European uh, rating system as far as uh, um, you know like maturity whatever like uh, I don't know what the phrase is um, but, you know, like in the U.S. here, you know, T for teen, E for everyone, you know, in movies, PG-13, rated R, da-da-da, that type of thing. But for uh, video games in Europe, I guess. So this was on the 28th of July. And from my understanding, according, yeah, actually according to this type uh top commenter, says you don't get ratings without contact. It's clear Iron Mace has applied for a rating good news so definitely good news if that's true if you can't get this without applying that means they are very you know moving forward and confident in the game and when you compound that with the new image and the new message by sdf ooh, and then we're i'm sure you've all been following the court case stuff i haven't been following too much of it um lately as far as like uh derp wiggles videos and stuff um I mean, I, I was aware of that there was that date, like, last Wednesday, but now it's, like, I think it was last Wednesday. It's, today's Tuesday. It's, like, uh, so much for that. I don't know what's going on there. Um, and I'm not blaming him for that. I'm just saying um, that's where it's, like, it's hard to get your hopes up with that stuff. I'm kind of, like, done with the whole getting your hopes up around a specific date. That stuff is just, <laughs> we've been, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Uh, <laughs> fool me 567 times or something <laughs> shame on me I don't know it's like uh, how many days can we kind of like look forward to and it not turn out um, so but yeah exciting stuff here that's kind of the main stuff as far as news kind of a good amount I mean nothing you know super solid as far as nothing 100 percent pointing to release or anything but stuff that's definitely indicating of them moving forward you know with this writing and we'll see what the blacksmith hopefully 
turns out to be. Hopefully we find out soon here. Really helpful for that next video that it'll be in that. Um, let's see what else some of these comments have to say about this. Yeah, same thing with this guy. Can't wait to hear the iconic Peggy 16 before a sick <laughs> cinematic trailer. Agreed. <laughs> I can hear that sound in my head too, even though I'm not like a, uh, since that is more of like what, what, European rating, it's not like I've heard that a lot, but it's for some reason, whatever, it's still stuck in my head. I don't know from what games, but still, an, it's an iconic sound. Um, This guy is saying, interesting as not having a rating is what caused the game to not be playable in Korea during Playtest 5. And then this guy says, I don't know if the Peggy rating is valid. Pretty sure Peggy is just for Europe. Yeah, I don't know what Korea sees as valid. They see a Steam rating as valid though, so I don't know if they totally do or don't see foreign ratings. Yeah, so we'll have to see as far as for... Uh, Korea's release is concerned. I was unaware that that was the reason why they couldn't release it in Korea as part of PT5. I thought it was just because of the whole um, legality, the lawsuit. You know, they released what was it, Playtest 5, and then like within 24 hours, then they got hit with the lawsuit. Um, okay, here's what this guy says. The, here's an excerpt, uh, excerpt uh, yeah, probably pronouncing that wrong, from Peggy's site. The pan-European game information age rating system was established to help European parents make informed decisions on buying computer games. It was launched in the spring of 2003 and replaced a number of national age rating systems with a single system now used throughout most of Europe in, most, in more than, excuse me, 35 countries. And it lists them all. Da -da -da. Although on them, I'm not going to read all those countries <laughs> and butcher half their names. Uh, although on this page is word about IARC, which includes South Korea. And then this guy, Peggy 16, August 16th release date confirmed. <laughs> Jokes, obviously, he's joking. Uh, Yeah. Anyways, very exciting stuff. I know for uh, some people who probably just don't get it, who've never played the game, um, <laughs> it's a weird like uh, spell almost that this game has over us that are addicted to it. And just even this may seem like small stuff to other people, but it's big to us. <laughs> this news, so <laughs> good stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, uh, yes, this was a little bit further down the line, and I have very much <laughs> mixed emotions about this. I am uh, scared <laughs> because I did not buy any of the coffee, and I am deeply regretting it now. It, like, sold out in, like, 24 hours, I think, whatever. Um, and I was, when I went to, like, went back to it and was looking at buying it, it was gone. <laughs> um, not because I, I don't drink coffee. I don't want the coffee. But at the off chance of this type of stuff, where exactly what I, I said in the whatever, like a month ago or something in another video, was um, in this is like an email, I believe they got somebody got from the coffee company. And there's something in here about them uh, releasing or them, sorry. You know, it's being kind of delayed or going, taking a little bit longer, but they're going to be including something extra and they don't mention what that extra thing is. So, <laughs> uh, obviously people are speculating and which I was worried about too, like in the insanity of, uh, the way Iron Mace has, um, done their, uh, P 
PR and stuff of like somehow this is the game, like the game will be inside the box or something, you know, like a um, a code or a USB drive or something to play the game or something. I really hope not because I didn't get one <laughs> and I would totally buy one if I took that to get it but they don't have them for sale I've checked multiple times they are sold out and there's not been any restocking at all so <laughs> um, let's actually read through this after I said all that uh, hey there thank you for support of the dark and darker Madrinus collaboration you ordered one of our pre-sale items and we understand how eagerly you have been anticipating the arrival of your order we want to assure you that we are working to get orders shipped out as soon as possible. All orders are currently scheduled to be shipped during the first two weeks of August, as we've been able to add a little something extra to all orders. If the shipment window changes, we'll be sure to provide an additional update. If you have any additional questions or da da da, yeah, whatever. <laughs> So yeah, it's currently August 1st as I am recording this, <laughs> so we shall see. Keyword being shipped during the first two weeks, it does not mean it's arriving within the first two weeks. And, you know, I don't know where they're shipping from, um, where they're based out of, and then obviously it's going to vary as far as how far whoever you are who bought it is from their distribution center location wise obviously not everyone's going to receive it on the same day which would make it also for pretty interesting if they did have the early access within the coffee it's like some people are be getting it earlier i mean most of us wouldn't be getting it at all i don't know how many uh copies of this uh, coffee that they actually sold but obviously most people didn't buy it um there's a very big <laughs> fan base um cult following that the game has and obviously there wasn't there were enough to for everybody or even most um but yeah so i'm really hoping that, that they don't do something like that which i i also don't doesn't make sense to like it's like uh i don't see how that would work you know legally speak legal um whatever blah from a legal standpoint, as far as I'm sure, um, the courts slash Nexon wouldn't be too happy. They would just be like, okay, they're just using some type of loophole and you can't do that, you know? Unless they could somehow justify that, hey, the you bought the coffee, wink, wink, nod, nod, and the game was free. See, we're not selling the game. <laughs> it's just a free extra. Um, but... You know, I mean, obviously Nexon would make a claim that that's just obviously, um, obviously not true, and it was we can all see through the point of it, and I'm sure the judge would probably agree with that and hold Iron Mace liable. So, yeah, seeing this guy says Steam code, there's no way it would be a Steam code. I mean, it's not available on Steam. Nothing. There's no way it's going to be on Steam. Um, even if it was somehow a code or something. Yeah, this guy, I uploaded this one. Bro, if this is access to a special test, uh, bro, if this is an access to a special test server, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> and I uploaded, I'm like, yeah, it's the same here. Particularly as, uh, you know, I'm now the content creator for Dark and Darker. This is my one thing I do too. Um, as far as being a content creator, I don't cover anything else, any other games or anything. Um, but the coffee came out before I did my YouTube. You know, I've only had my YouTube channel for, uh, I think tomorrow would be two months exactly of when I created it, like June 2nd, and the coffee came out like in May. Um, so I didn't even, I wasn't even making any content, so I wasn't even um, thinking about it from that perspective either. Um,
Yeah, see this guy. I'm so mad I didn't buy into the coffee right away. I waited like six hours to think about it and it was sold out. Yeah, see, it's crazy. Ooh, this guy, what he's got to say. Here's a secret. If you have Shopify, it will alert you every time someone cancels their order and another box opens up. What? There's no way. I was heartbroken. I was like five minutes too late to buying the mug because my card wasn't working. Two days later, I got an alert from Shopify that it was back on the market. I purchased it right away and then it went out of stock again. Since then, I have seen it go back on Shopify five or six. There's no way. It's still possible to get it, although highly unlikely since out of maybe thousands of orders, I've only gotten alert about five times. But with a bit of luck and having all your card information pre-saved, maybe you can have the same experience. Happy I got to buy it though, hold the line. <laughs> maybe I want to cut that part out of this video here and just uh, save that little secret for myself and try this out. I don't know. <laughs> And then this one's kind of the uh, like, you know, 99% accurate, probably the truth. Everyone thinking it's a game code going to be sad when it's a sticker or a keychain. <laughs> crying emoji, crying laughing. Yeah. If early access, I poop my pants. If not early access, I poop my pants. Or I poop your pants. <laughs> uh, so we'll see this month it is now august so they will be should be arriving this month as long as they actually do get them shipped out in the next two weeks so we will find out as far as what that extra item is and then as far as more news this is you know quasi news it is not like a little bit older and it's you know more of a game based news as far as the details of the game um but somebody caught in one of the new videos that the uh, weight stat was removed which i didn't know about slash forgot about that it even existed because it's one of those things in the game that similar to what magical interaction speed is like it's in the game but it's not in the game meaning that you can see it's uh an attribute you know that's going to be there in the future when you open your like character tab but functionally it's not actually in the game it doesn't work at all um which i think this is a like most people who you know upvoted this looks like a heavy upvote i totally agree too it would totally suck i, I always hate in games when there's some type of uh weight restriction it's usually in from my experience in games like uh whatever like the fallout games right and like skyrim and those type of games um, I always hated that mechanic, um, getting over encumbered or whatever. And then you move like 20% of the movement speed of what you used to move, you know, um, if it even lets you pick up the stuff over that weight limit. So particularly with something like this game where it's, it would also probably be class-based, like it wouldn't be a flat thing. You know, I'm sure the bar you know barbarian, big, buff, beefy boy would probably get the most. Um, he could probably carry the most, so that would suck too. You know, meanwhile, like uh, you know, ranger, rogue, bard would probably carry more like the least, etc. That would suck too. And overall, it would suck even if it was a flat, even amount per class. But it probably would have been like a varying, just like these other, just like strength, agility, will, knowledge, resourcefulness, just how all those, everything else is varies depending on what class. It probably would have varied too. So I really hope they do not actually implement it and it truly is removed. I'm sure you guys, most of you agree. Uh, that would suck. Yeah, let's read these comments. I hope it stays that way considering the already existent inventory management system. I don't... I don't think it belongs in the game. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, burp sometimes and I try to move my face away from the mic. Uh, I agree. It was my biggest fear for the game. I already have the Tetris mini game. I don't really want to deal with over or, or encumbrance as well. <laughs> I 
Agreed. The last thing I need to worry about is how heavy my ba uh, how heavy my pockets full of maggot infested bread are. Jokes aside, I seriously don't want them to add the weight system. Agreed. And I really don't, as far as like how it currently is, I love it how it currently is. I have zero problem as far as, it seems like some people have issues with how it currently is. I don't have any issues with the current um, inventory management system. Um, of course, I also don't have like a lot of experience in other, you know, similar games like um, Diablo, etc. You know, obviously Diablo is not a straight same, but I mean, it, I think you can get what I'm saying as far as the inventory management and stuff and, you know, being an RPG game. Um, but I think it's fine. Um, I think when we do need that like restriction, what we don't want, even with seasons, what you don't want to see as bad as it can be even now with, uh, you know, five, seven day play test where the, the best players slash streamers who get stuff donated to them just have an endless supply of stuff. We really don't want that, particularly on like a three month system where it's like um, you don't want like an unlimited bag space um, with it, whether that's in the dungeon or out of the dungeon inside your uh, um, backpack or whatever it's called. They call it, you know, your, you know, you've got your what you've got on you, your backpack, your character, but then you also have your stash, you know, whatever um, you need that to be restricted. We don't want endless. um that's you know that's what makes the game so awesome is the uh, the part of what makes it so awesome um the you know you die you lose everything and then uh that sense of uh unforgiving um punishment <laughs> it's almost masochistic uh sense <laughs> that we like this punishing system but it makes it hard but it makes it rewarding too when you actually you know succeed and stuff but you don't just want an endless stash of you know you can store an infinite amount of gold and infinite amount of objects and then there's never any sense of danger um, you can just build up all right I've got a hundred longbows on my ranger and uh, you know uh, 50 sets of armor or every piece of armor you know I've got you know 500,000 gold <laughs> You don't want, and then it says like you can just die endlessly, and it doesn't mean anything. We don't want that. At least I don't, and I hope you guys don't either. So, and that's part of what the whole um, seasonal thing is about too. The whole wipes every three months that they're planning is part of that too, where it's like um, it re we have that reset, you know, gear and level and everything, um, and it's another race from the the bottom to the top. We get a new start from the finish line, or start from the, uh, start at the starting line for everybody. Um, so that's that. What else? I think that's pretty much all we got for news. Uh, from now, or uh, now I can either start going through some other like Reddit posts where they're like people will submit. Um, memes or ideas about the game and I give my commentary on that or we can break down some gameplay footage um, some dark and darker school break down what some people's clips and I can see what I want to do or what I think they should have done differently and whatnot and what they did right uh, I got my pen here let's I think we're gonna go do that at least first here try it out see how long I feel like doing that for uh, but first thing I'm gonna take a sip I've been talking for a while here have a drink. As much as I'm talking, you may, <clears throat> sorry, as much as I've been talking, you may be surprised to know I'm actually not a very social person or talkative person, um, relatively shy guy, but, uh, so kind of a weird uh, thing for me to be doing this for, but <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you like something and even a shy person, I guess when you're talking about something you like, you can talk about it. So, uh, one second here. All right, see, I think I had some footage couple clips let's see if they're any good 
Where are one of my tabs here? I think it was this one. Uh, and I should probably turn off this music here. And yeah, we got our cozy little fire here. But I don't know, sorry, I've got some like lint or some tiny pieces of hair on my face. Bugging me. Let's see here. So I'm gonna switch this over actually. I've got my drawing tablet in front of me so I can use my pen. Uh, so just bear with me for a moment. I'm gonna be changing the scenes here. to that screen there we go and okay drag this over Okay, is that better? Oh, and one second, I gotta get my drawing software. Pop that boy open. So I can draw on the screen properly. Oh, there it is. Do -do -do. Yeah, ignore. Every piece of software, you know, you got freaking 100 pieces of software installed on your computer and they all want to update every five seconds. Anyways, so as far as hopefully maybe you saw my other Dark and Darker School video, I posted two of them the past few days. Um, so basically it's going to be similar to that. Um, but and to give an idea of what how I approach this, um, sorry, got burps, drinking soda, making you burp. Um, I like to approach this with uh, kind of a no spoiler sense, so I try not to uh, read or I'll ignore you know the title of these videos and whatnot, and try to not to like pre-watch them if I can um, and just try to assess it the raw um, like my first one like this one so for example let's pop this boy open um, so I'll just like take it like this you know just boom what's our situation here and just assess it completely and just not try to like how do I let's make this make sense I don't want to like s spoil it because it's like you can think of it like uh gambling or something you know you got the you got two you're betting on sports or something <laughs> it's like see so somebody's asking you your prediction well if you're like a time traveler or something and you know the outcome of the game it's like obviously you're gonna bet on the winner or whatnot it's like kind of like that i don't want to watch the end of this or something or watch part of this and be like oh yeah of course go do this 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 and that because I know he's going to go do that, that, and that, you know, and that's going to work for him because, you know, these are highlight clips, so he's probably going to end up um, living or whatnot. So I'm just trying to, you know, give it from more of a um, a raw um, analysis because, you know, hindsight's, you know, 2020, and it's uh, easy to say if you know the outcome that, like, okay, he should have done this and that. But if you don't know and in the moment, just like he is in the moment, um, you have to assess it with the uh, the limited information. I mean, what's what good is it otherwise? How are you going to learn? Because um, in that moment, you know, when you're actually playing, you're not going to have all that extra information. So um, hopefully that rambling made sense for you guys. 
Uh, but let's check this out. Let me switch over to my pen here. So it looks like we got uh, ourselves a little rogy boy. Um, so let's check this out. It's only an 18 second clip, you know, I can see here. Um, so probably not too much analysis gonna happen, but looks like we're in the goblin caves. We've got five minutes left on the timer. He is currently in the safe zone, um, you know, which is coming pretty small, even though we're only halfway through the um, match by the nature of the goblin cage. You know, it's a very vertical map. Um, obviously not exclusively vertical, but very vertical as far as, I uh, presumably that's why it's only, there's five minutes in that circle is that small seemingly. Um, I have less experience with the goblin caves. You know, the crypts are my favorite. Um, but kill feed, we've got what? That five deaths? Even though I see a portal here, but I, oh, actually, sorry. This, uh, sorry, this thing's covering it up, but that is a one portal. So he's got the one portal that has spawned four deaths. Um, he's got the one portal in front of him. Um, he's got like 95% HP. He's relatively high level because I can see at least three native perks, it looks like, on him. I believe those are indicators of those ones the uh like yellowish colored ones whereas whereas the blue ones are like the temp ones that you get from your abilities and whatnot and like spells and stuff so it means he's got like at least three you know what perks so he's got to be at least level 10 right um because you get you know right you get your base one then you get second one at five third one at 10 fourth one at 15 um so obviously we can't inspect him not sure how geared he is but currently invisible and he's got the potion there but it looks like it's on that it's a trap right guys i mean it's just kind of pretty dark here but it's like a spike trap so it's a just kind of a weird placement of the see if he can even open this um, without getting damaged uh, let's clear this off and hit play and i'm gonna check my volume make sure this is good Okay, we hear somebody else moving around. Dead. Uh, so he's just sit okay. So he's baiting it out. It looks like, and it's another rogue here. <laughs> it looks like maybe a starter gear rogue. Uh, poor guy. He's gonna probably get jumped by our boy here. Okay, here he goes. Oh, nasty. But yeah, see that is a trap, <laughs> and that poor guy. I think he got him right in the face with that rapier and it worked out perfectly as far as the um, for our guy he did get that portal open the other guy opened it for him but he still got the kill check out what this guy's got on him okay oh yeah look at our guy he's geared up and he's actually does have four perks so he's at least level 15 probably you know level 20 let's be real but at least 15 um, he's already got quite a bit of gear in his pockets but ooh, and this other rogue even though he doesn't have much as far as what he's wearing. Got a blue hound skull and a spell book, so he probably himself killed the cleric, it looks like. RIP to my cleric brother. There's that. Uh, and hey, it's my video. That one. Check out another one here. Okay, this one I did see a little bit of it beforehand, so... Uh, what was I going to say? What's the phrase? Uh, to be up front with you guys. <laughs> I saw, like, the first, whatever, 10, 20, 30 seconds of this one. So, um, this one I won't break down. It's more of just a, a neato, <laughs> an actual really cool trick. Check this out. So, this wizard, what he's going to do here. He's in the... Um, what the troll troll room or right to troll I'm not sorry I'm my brain right now whatever cave troll yeah this is cave troll just go uh, stupid mode for sometimes check this out uh, is this the highest quality no go to 720 what the hell give me that HD baby That's the way I like it look at that boom just fireballs up into that that's crazy, and he didn't aggro. He's able to, so I didn't know that either. He's able to. What is that? The door right there. You're able to enter in the room, and like if you stay on the walls, you don't aggro him, and then you can get into this position. And he what? Only took like 20% damage. 
But I was concerned, watch this, so I'm like, is he gonna have enough spell power? Check what he's got. Enough uh, spells to attack him with. Darn it, sorry. Keeps uh, going too fast. So he's rocking a fireball and magic missile are the only, or no, is that zap? I think that's zap, right? So he's got the three attacks and then ignite, um, which he just used. So got this crazy exploit spot here. We're probably going to patch this after seeing this. Uh, but I'm worried about him having enough spell. Maybe he's geared enough. I, maybe he is, I should say. I don't know if he's geared enough to actually, even if you use all your spells, at least low level wizards, pretty darn uh, weak damage wise. So, And I don't know how much health this guy's got. This boss. But this is the secret where it's okay. If he's not getting hurt and he can just melee him down. And also, too, if he's getting headshots, that helps, too. This is uh, even... It's not just... Uh, that's actually the beauty of this spot. It's not just that you're not taking damage. You're just literally able to get just a bunch of headshots, too. Why isn't he going to magic missile? He just wants to preserve. He's that confident. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's not a perfect exploit spot. I did not see the end of this clip. He just got smashed. Let's see that again. So he was surviving there for whatever, a good like 30 seconds with an aggro on him without being damaged. 20 seconds, whatever. Does he move at all? Our boy? So I believe that was the first time. I know maybe you might be thinking this is over analysis, but. I'm trying to like understand why it finally hit him. I think that was the one time he actually, he didn't like move his feet, but he moved his camera to the left. And that's right after that, we see he uh, does that damage to him. The, the cave troll finally lands a shot. Overhead shot. Whatever. Let's rewatch this and see. So he's going to hit the, like the ceiling right with the staff and then it, he moves pretty far to the left then. I don't know if maybe it, does it have something to do with also him pulling out the staff? I don't know. And that left swing, if maybe I'm just overanalyzing it, maybe it's nothing to do with that. Maybe it has nothing to do actually with what he was doing and it's just the cave trolls mechanics. Um, <laughs> but that was just a crazy spot in the first place. Because you can hypothetically, I don't know how many of those are around in the cave, in the uh, goblin caves, but just, you know, even if this doesn't work for killing this guy, you could still use it against, like, say, other players. If there's other um, torches like this that you could perhaps jump onto, or even other spots, because it's anything else that's in the sky. Think of, you know, rogues and their double jumps in the ruins. If there's something now that um, we know this, Wizards can do the same thing somehow with Fireball, you know? Maybe there's some other gimmick spots that they can get to that no one else can. Besides, obviously, double jumpers, double jump rogues. Uh, excuse me. So that was pretty cool. Definitely leave that guy an upvote. All right. So what we got here, make sure, man, what's with this? Keeps giving me low quality picture quality. Trying to get this reset to 720. Okay, so let's analyze this boy. Okay, I like to start with the mini map. 445 left on the clock. He's currently safe, uh, but the red zone is obviously closing. The swarm is going to be closing in on him, but he's relatively safe as far as he's literally right next to, you know, the safe zone so he can easily get into it um, he is a solo boy solo fighter rock and sprint and um, I always forget the name of their heal but that heal ability and he's got it available both of them are available looks like he's got two what perks so what he's like level five plus um, level five to nine probably 
kill feed to deaths to portals he's in this one room i like this room but it's a uh, dangerous relatively big room um with uh can be lots of combat that goes down into it and it's a fun room for combat i had some fun times in this room um and then there's also some cool little uh these like jail cells here um and you can like open them up and go in sometimes there's mobs in there sometimes there might be like a chest or something but there's one that's also got like spike traps i feel like it's might even be that one or i think it's this one so maybe um not 100 sure but like i would go in there when i was like solo and you can just hide in there for a little while like just go in there shut the door um and just like camp out if you're scared and you just want to wait for a portal hope for one to pop up near you it can be it's a nice little camping spot um so particularly like you can um what was i gonna say you don't just go in there but you can like you know push yourself like because there's these you know there's the sledge here but think about like you can kind of in a sense or slightly push yourself behind it like you know go in here and then go kind of towards the edge and give you a little bit extra concealment uh well let's see what's up with our guy he's currently has no weapon out so he's running probably from something let's see maybe he's got somebody on his butt here let's hit play and see how this goes whoa what the heck is this he's got this sped up i guess going super fast mode I'm not doing that yeah so I'm guessing he's got it on double quadruple triple speed whatever interesting he's just gonna sit in the swarm what's he doing here does he know somebody's nearby and he was just trying to hide from him oh okay I don't know but yeah this is kind of pretty dark um, yeah, huh? dark and darker, it's, but yeah, it's pretty dark here. Um, got a barbarian, and what is that? Here, I'm not 100% sure. Like, a, can't tell. Some type of, like, wizard, cleric, ranger, bard, or something, looks like. Um, barbarian buddies, like, I don't know, mentally AFK or what? Inspecting. Okay, he's looting. Firebombs this guy but he wants this fight i uh, i'm not sure i like that entry but you know like you're just i don't know how much damage those can do if he really wants this fight he probably should have just with this guy this distracted you know i don't know what he's got weapon wise our guy our boy does the fighter but either sprint into there or ideally you know just crouch walk into there and just start and then get a headshot or something with your blade i'm not sure about the uh I don't know if anybody, if the enemy players though can hear your, uh, you know, she thing, like pulling out your weapons or putting them back away. Um, so let's see how this goes. See, because now you got him pulled, and what was that? Another Oop, different class? Yeah, so that's like a ranger. I don't know if that's that first that was the one we saw earlier. Oh, did you see that? He, uh, he kills him, but then the ragdoll. What the hell? I don't know if that guy's lagging or what. Is that interp? What's going on? He's behind him now. Sounds. Okay, so there's still two players. There's one behind him. This stranger's in front of him. He's sprinting up on this ranger. I'm throwing axe. Gotta watch out his butt, though. Behind you, buddy. There's somebody coming too. in those shots. Okay, cleric. Albert. But I think our guy is just more geared than these boys. I'm just gonna do a bow off here. Until the fighters had enough and just Albert's him down. <laughs> yeah. So element of surprise, better gear and better skill won him that one. Kind of crazy the way some people play. <laughs> I'd be, uh, I don't know how much he was aware that that was a three man, but going into that, that's pretty nutty to just have that much, uh, <laughs> you know, go Le Leroy Jenkins in into there. That much faith that you're gonna win a one v three like that. 
I mean, I get he's probably geared and stuff, but still. And he's got a good, you know, fighters. One of the best classes in the game. Top three class, definitely. Arguably the best, so. Speaking of... Oh, stop playing. We got 720. Let's get our sound on. Uh, let's assess the situation. Kind of dark here. Okay, very early on. On the time. 840 to go. He's at the very edge of the map, but, you know, the red zone. Swarm hasn't even come in. Nothing in the kill feed. But he's quickly ran into, like, a cleric, it looks like. But the cleric is also is trying to run, but also... I think there's some type of mob here um they've already had some type of combat probably our boy is hurt here he is currently sprinting just use his sprint he's still got his second wind or whatever his heal down to like what 70 percent hp 60 percent uh let's see if he can nab this kill as a cleric main i am rooting for the cleric uh, sorry but probably not gonna win this time <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, what are you doing, dude? Cleric, no. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to cast there, but that was not going to work. Oh, man, holy crap, he's got five goblins on him. Four melee ones and the wizard. Probably going to die here now. Somehow, they're like hitting each other and they're not hitting him. That's crazy. <laughs> what the hell? But let's check that one back from the beginning. I want to see... I mean, it's really it's hard to say. I'm just trying to like... Not much advice I can give this fighter here, but as far as if I was that cleric, trying to assess that and think of what he should have done, what he should have done. Um, it's, you know, obviously I don't know what he's rocking. He's not, doesn't have too much gear, obviously, but I mean, as far as spell wise, so it's hard to say. Um, obviously, if he's got judgment, pop that. He may have already popped that. There's, there's a decent chance, I guess, that that's what could have taken this fighter down already to this much. There's that pathway here he could have taken, the cleric, and then obviously don't. Um, he, you don't have time, even if that was a, you basically, you're at, it's no more spell time. You know, judgment's the only spell you can do. Your ability, um, if right now, it's either you know X, press X and just run with nothing, or have your uh, weapon out, have your mace out, whatever you got for your weapon. Um, so, and potentially try to get those goblin boys to aggro onto the fighter. Slash, use them as uh, meat shields. But check our next one out. Say hey, this one, I think, is up to the higher quality from the get-go. And this one is right at the end of the match here. You know, the timer is... I mean, even though it doesn't look like it's, I guess, not at the very end, but the timer is non-existent. Um, okay, they're in Inferno. That's I'm like, why does this look so weird? Where are they? They're in, in Inferno. That's what it is. Um, but, and it's just about the final circle, probably. This boy's his teammate. This rocking two rangers. Love to see it. Um, he's got, looks like, the triple shot. And the five like shotgun arrows abilities. He's down to 80% health. Other guys like down to 60% health. There's been zero kills in the kill feed. Three portals. Got one portal here. Let's see if they can find another one nearby. And we don't know if they've killed this room. If I recall correctly, has a couple nasty mobs in it. It's got like that um, centaur or whatever the hell that thing is with like the two-handed axe or whatever. 
and I think also like the demon bat um, gargoyle thing also like in this center area over here and then like the centaur is running around this circle here um, on the outer edge um, I've died to him before <laughs> let's see how this goes all right guys to the left watch out, watch out opening portal okay guys to the left oh okay is that a player maybe being chased by a centaur? Is it? It's people, people. That was the first person. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. I didn't even see that. Oh, he's gonna send a trap. trap? I didn't see him. I, I don't know if the traps will work like on uh, like that centaur or something. That would be pretty crazy. So. Yeah, see, so here's that. Here are the wings. That's like the demon, demon and bat thing. Bring a trap down. Oh, see, and they're just attacked. <laughs> Launched him. Oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> they need to get out of here. Extract! Get out! Extract! Extract! Yeah, one of them needs to take that bad boy. Get the fuck out. No way. No way. He just steps into his buddy's trap. That's amazing. That's amazing. And he's got like that zombie just puked right next to him. You trapped me! You trapped me! No fucking way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see the demon bat killed his buddy and then his trap uh, got him and then the zombie ultimately got the kill, but you know, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry about this audio, but it's too loud. Uh, drop that down. Fuck yes! Hilarious. <laughs> uh, man. Let's reassess that now as far as what they could have done or should have done. Um, hard to say. I don't know where they came from, you know, when they entered this room. Um, so he just came from probably this way then if he's right here. There's a doorway right there. But there's obviously another doorway here. Um, you know, All right, guys to the left, there's a variety of... Portal. Sorry. Pause this again. You know, there. You know, as far as... Obviously one of them needs to take that portal. But as far as finding another one... This zone is right here. You know, they just came from like this doorway, which is what this one. They could, there could be like another one in here. So probably open this doorway. Just check at least, walk out there, see if there's another one. So you don't have to worry about fighting the centaur, the player, the zombies, the demon bat. Um, and potentially yeah, check him there or, and then uh, probably this boy, since he's got the more health, should be the one that's, you know, checking out. Uh, that stuff and running into the swarm and then also check here if you need to and then if you really have to ultimately come back here obviously and look around this area or in this area but it's not likely that you're gonna survive that but that was that one pretty funny uh, I think pretty much everyone's done that once or twice you play ranger as i've seen clips i feel like i've probably done it myself i don't have a distinct memory but you know i've seen it a decent amount of time now clips where you play ranger put down a trap and you step into your own trap or you you know you, your teammate steps into your trap or you step into your teammate's trap you know <laughs> so it's pretty funny clip here take a sip all right let's assess this one says the situation here so towards the end of the map match three minutes to go but they are like so for example let's contrast that this one with the last one or what was it the last one or the one prior to the last one sorry the goblin caves one this one you know is similar as far as the times down further ish but that white circle safe zone is much bigger here than it was on that one with the goblin cave so that's just the nature of the verticality of that goblin cave um, but uh, 
so this they're clearly in a safe area but they're in a tricky spot currently these i don't know about you guys but i really hate these mazes you know i love them like they're you know totally keep them in the game you know they're awesome but yeah no they're difficult you know that's what i mean by when i say i hate them they're difficult but you know it's a good type of difficult but i'm sure we've all died to those spike traps and stuff but it's a nasty spot to be in um that's what i mean but they're right next to arguably my favorite room in the entire game i believe this is that one with that bridge and these two like um pathways that uh, there's a lot of combat and there's a lot of like portals towards the end of the game there and they're very similar anyways and there's there's like those jail cells and zombies in the middle down below um but they're gucci right now they're good right now uh kill feed what we got five deaths three blue portals two red portals popped open um they oh, oh they had a three man i didn't realize they had a three man uh two barbarians and a cleric that is what i like to see um that's my type of group there um we've got our boy here this looks like he's one of the barbarians the other barbarians here um got his abilities up health pots both barbarians are either at full health or dang near full health clerics at like 60. so let's see how this one plays out here they're currently running through that spike area but where they can get to the way they're headed huh i don't like the way they're headed where are they coming from maybe unless they're running from this room i would i'd like to see them either move towards that or go into this area but they're kind of running towards going to be heading into some spikes here soon and to get to the other side it's like they're heading towards so let's see what happens here okay there's the cleric oh yeah see they're not acknowledging the spike traps oh oh i think there's another player coming oh cleric no Yep, yep, oh, f uh, <laughs> just terrible timing uh, with that. On the For these guys, great timing as far as the fighter that's pushing them, that potted right as he's rounding that corner. These guys aren't hearing it because the traps are going off, and this barbarian is completely, you know, got his back turned to him. He does have full health, but this fighter also looks geared, so this is going to be potentially nasty for our barbarian boy. But, you know, he's a barbarian. He can take a lot of hits, generally speaking. Okay, got a wizard also who's potted and got a fireball ready, which is a little tricky with his fighter friend here and this very close quarters. And this is, I, I like this from the, uh, you know, they got our, our boys. This barbarian, like, this uh, just said, screw this fighter. Uh, I'm going for you, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> and then this, uh, our barbarian is going to end up fighting this uh, fighter. I kind of <laughs> like that as far as, you know, he's got a good chance. I guess it's kind of like pick your poison. Do both the barbarians team up? I guess that's technically, potentially that's the better play. Two barbarians team up on the fighter and just get him done, get him killed. You know, stack the kill on there. And then um, this wizard is forced to, if he wants to fireball, that means he's going to damage his fighter buddy too. Um, that perhaps is the better play, but it really just depends also on gear and stuff. Um, but generally speaking, this one fighter here pushing this wizard is going to have the W probably. Um, we'll see. Okay, there's another third man. Looks like they have a cleric with them also, so that definitely changes things here. Oh, I think he might have just healed our boy, our barbarian, that cleric. I think he might have just... Did he? Or did I see that wrong? The hellblade. Just help. Okay, no. Looks like not. But uh, our cleric's using that one, that AoE heal ability. Nice.
Looks like that judgment failed. That cleric, and now the cleric's running. It's not going to be good for this cleric. This is not going to work out for this other team. The cleric's going to go down. Probably. So we just, they just did a trade, traded that barbarian for the cleric. Oh, the, our barbarian is really hurt right now. Oh, I think he gets that. Oh, he got that kill on the fighter though, but that wizard's taking him out. So now it's just their, our cleric versus their wizard. If they want this smoke, if they want, want to continue this fight. Probably the right... Oh, but he's running. I was going to say, probably should stick with it considering there's, what, four bodies on the ground. All that gear. Um, depending on how... We know that fighter was geared. The other fighter at least had some gear. It's probably worth it for this cleric who doesn't even seem to be geared to take that fight. Even if you lose, you're not losing much. Versus, you know, the cost, risk... Uh, you know, you win it, you can have your pick of freaking five bodies of gear. Um, you lose it, you don't even have much gear on yourself anyways, it looks like. Hard to say, though, obviously. On as far as what he has for gear, but nothing too crazy. Probably. So if he is going to run this, well, you see now he's also trapped. He's in this... This is the part of the trouble with this place. Um, he's outside of the, you know, he's currently safe, but the red zone is coming in on him. And he's deep in this. He's like right in the heart of it, in the center. And then he gets a new one. <laughs> you get greedy with the chest, and that's what you get. Oh, and then the spike trap, or wall trap, you know, wall spike. Yeah, I, he really should have stuck that. Let's go back and reassess that. Where, what that situation was like when this, what they're at. So he's running. He's got about, what, it's hard to sell it, see kind of, but like 50, 55% HP. I bet that wizard was hurt. I mean, he's got, he does not have judgment. Um, he's got that, like, is that the, the, it's one of the two. I forget which one that is. They look similar. They both have the cross. There's the one that does the undead AOE damage, and then there's the one that like gives you extra defense or whatever. Um, but that, you know, wizard was doing fireballs. I bet he could have pushed. You know, that one fireball wouldn't have. You'd be able to even if he hits you with that one fireball, you're not going to die at like sixty percent health still here, fifty five. Probably not going to die. You can at least get up into his face and get uh, probably one or two hits on him with that mace probably and that's probably enough to kill him particularly if you do have if that ability is a defense boost and you can pop that and then i don't know what he's got spell wise if he could do any more uh bubble himself or heal too i mean definitely should have stuck with that and fought that out instead now that uh wizard's got gets to loot those four bodies and escape with that you know Whatever he can actually hold. Obviously, you can't hold four bodies worth of gear in your inventory. All right, next one up. Oh. Oh, I think that's the same names. At least two of the same names, right? The Hulk and Hellblaze, these two barbarians, sorry. Restart, reassess situation. So four and a half minutes. Uh, quite a bit of action there in the kill feed. Was that two, four, six, eight deaths I think I count? Only two portals, only two escape portals. Um, all our, another three man, they're all alive, so they don't need this shrine. Totally in the safe area. Um, again, you know, 440 to go. All nice on health. Got all of our abilities. Got health pots. Got throwing axes. We are set up and ready to go. Two barbarians and a fighter. And looks like they're high level. I see a bunch of perks on them. So they're probably all, you know, 15 to 20 level. Good chance of being geared here. Let's see. Get We get some good fights here. Oh, he's currently running on X mode. I see a wizard. Watch out for a fireball. Magic missiles coming here. 
Oh yeah, nice. So he's gonna Francesca. I don't know what he's got behind him as far as teammates wise, but you know they can both probably have the same thing as far as thrown axes. But maybe the fighter's got a bow or something he can use. Can't tell if that wizard is currently looking at us or not. Okay, yeah, he is. He's got. He's about to cast. Looks like a fireball. Uh, and ooh, I think, I think that's probably gonna land there. Oh nope. <laughs> and he screams. I'm gonna lower this a bit loud. Uh, dodges it, and it, now it's just a race. And I believe that's us. He's gonna get a movement speed boost here. Ooh, and he's got his weapons out. Just totally get that movement speed. That's an interesting uh, take here. I guess that's the right play. You're not going up against a melee class so even when you get up in this face here you don't have to worry about him stabbing you or something you've got time to pull out your axe here although ooh, here another player out oh, cleric but yeah they're both these these guys are screwed this cleric and wizard two barbarians and a fighter and they're probably geared and you guys aren't and even if you were you're just gg boys uh get ready for your next match oh but then there's like a fighter with them too but yeah Time to just focus your energy on this uh, cleric, get this boy down, and hopefully his two teammates could probably just take take out the fighter, distract them while the Hulk here kills this uh, cleric and probably the wizard all by himself if he wanted to. Yeah, boom, two hits on the cleric, even with the bubble really fast, and those are that's not even with two-handed weapons, those are with the one-handed axes if he was able to kill him that fast. Almost gets killed here. And that wizard's still alive for now. He's running probably. What the hell is he still alive? Oh, he killed himself with the chain lightning. Because you gotta remember, they kill, it does up to three damage up to three people within like eight meters. So <laughs> if you're within distance, if you're with as the caster, you can count as one of those three people if you're within eight meters. So that was smart by the what, big Earl to push to make some damage himself. Get that kill. All right. Well, I'm thinking, I've been talking a lot, guys. <laughs> this is kind of, I'm new to this, and I'm feeling kind of uh, talked out. I'm also not used to talking generally for a long period of time. I think I'm going to switch over, and we're just going to listen to some stuff. I think I'm going to throw on a video game here, like Star Siege or something, and we're just going to listen to, still going to be dark and darker late, and still going to, I think, going to listen to some other uh, interviews or podcasts maybe here in the background, but I'll be putting on gameplay where I'm going to be playing. Um, while we just chill and listen to that stuff and I can uh, shut my mouth here. You don't have to listen to my voice as much. So let's see here. Give me a moment to get that switched over. Okay, it looks like Star Siege is actually updating. That's going to take a second here. Um, going pretty fast, only like 30 seconds a minute. Um, I'm going to step away for 30 seconds. i got to lower the temperature, put my AC. It's getting kind of hot in here. One second.
Okay, got the game launching. Switch this over. second I'll get uh, some in for us to listen to. Man, I gotta close this freaking pen software. One second. I'm gonna do that. Give me a moment here. What's up, everybody? My name is Juan. Okay, I haven't watched some of these, uh, some videos from some YouTubers, Dark and Darker News stuff. So they want to listen to some of that in the background. If it sounds a little funky, I'm going to be, uh, altering the audio a little bit for uh, copyright purposes. So, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Um, so just keep that in mind. If it sounds funky to you, that's why. Got to do what we got to do to stay uh, afloat here. Playing a little Star Siege, but we got an update for the the Korean criminal case. So there's there's two cases, three technically. There's three cases in the world, two in Korea. There's the one civil suit between Nexon and Iron Mace in Korea. There's obviously the one in the United States, and then there's a criminal case against SDF where Nexon is trying to throw the book in him. Uh, they they ask the government to investigate whether or not SDF stole from them in uh, in some form of provable way, so that they could you know attempt to reset it on. I guess uh, send his ass to jail. So, up days. until this point, what had happened was there was a police investigation, two of them actually, where they went into the office, they collected all kinds of evidence and information, and then the police department put in a request for SDF to be arrested. They wanted they wanted an arrest warrant for him. And then it was up not to yet, the prosecutor's we'll office to determine whether or like not they were going to do it. And there was a request put into the court to see whether or not there could be a warrant issued. I guess it's a little bit of a different process, but according to this article, it says that he uh, had the arrest warrant dismissed. So Dark and Darker director's arrest warrant dismissed what is the direction of the provisional injunction to ban the service so that everybody's aware this is a google translated deal uh it's possible that words are screwed up and whatever um it's not a you know certified quote-unquote translation so but we'll get the gist court focuses attention on the direction of the provisional injunction to dismiss the arrest warrant requested by the security investigation division okay the court rejected the request for an arrest warrant from the prosecution and the police who had mr Choi, the development director of dark and darker mr Choi has been investigated by the police for violating the the Unfair Competition Ooh, Prevention bro. Act and breach of trust in the course of developing Dark and Darker for leaving Nexon to establish Iron Mace. The prosecution, which had been adhering to the insufficient evidence stance on the case, decided to arrest and indict Choi two years after the incident occurred. The court ruling on Nexon's application for provisional injunction to ban Dark and Darker uh, filed against Iron Mace is imminent, and attention is focused on how the prosecution's request for a warrant in the court's decision <laughs> related to the provisional injunction. <laughs> 
arrest warrant requested by the Security Investigation Division um, on the 27th for Choi. Mr. Choi appeared at the court in the morning, waited for the warrant review, and returned home in the evening after receiving the, de the decision to dismiss the warrant. Uh, Mr. Choi served as the General Director of Development of P3 at Nexon. It was found that Choi informed P3 development team employees of his plan to leave Nexon and found a new developer and encouraged them to participate. Uh, Nexon recognized this and as a result, it was confirmed that Mr. Choi kept the resources used for game development. Well, it was assumed that. It wasn't confirmed. Used for game development a separate storage space immediately after disciplinary... All right, so while he was employed. And after disciplinary dismissal of Choi, he filed a complaint with the police. After receiving Nexon's complaint, the police carried out an investigation including seizure and search of Choi's home, sent the case to the prosecution which the, with an opinion of prosecution with the prosecution was known to have investigated investigation for reasons such as insufficient evidence. When they went to Iron Mace's office to grab whatever they needed enemies. to grab. Uh, Iron Mace, founded by Mr. Troy, created Dark and Darker, uh, released through the Steam platform. The game received favorable reviews from the public. There was also an evaluation saying the Korean developer has once again produced a global box office hit comparable to Battleground. Battleground failed, though. Anyway, uh, companies investigating Iron Mace secure the copyright for Dark and Darker service were fiercely competing in Tencent, uh, Krafton, Kakao Games, Hive, and WebZen expressed interest. However, because Dark and Darker as a game of the same genre and very strong similarity to P3 that Mr. Choi made while working at Nexon, controversy over its spread. Mark, actually, this is this is pretty good. Also. It's nice to see that they aren't sounding accusatory. In March, the police additionally searched and seized the homes of Mr. Choi and Mr. Park, the CEO of Iron Mace, and secured files uh, stored on Choi's PC. Uh, as the related controversy intensified, the North American game platform Steam declared, we will not serve Dark and Darker until the legal controversy is over, and game developers uh, who tried to secure the copyright also withdrew. Uh, Iron Mace has no choice but to service the game directly, right? Iron Mace filed an application for provisional injunction to ban the service. They did that in Suwon. Uh, the Suwon District Court is ex expected to conclude the hearing and make a decision in August at the earliest. So this is going to be late August. It's not going to be early August. The prosecution, which did not accept the police's opinion of prosecution, made a sudden decision to arrest Choi ahead of the judgment related to the provisional injunction to, uh, drawing attention. So they did arrest him. They had arrested him. The court decision to fly for Mr. Choi was put on trial while he was on Iron Mace was virtually released to drive for the development of the government to proceed with its independent service. The prosecution and the police request for the arrest warrant was accepted as unexpected. This is because it has been about two years since Mr. Choi stored the P3 development resources in a separate space. The police conducted a search and seizure on two occasions and had completed collecting related evidence. Attention was drawn to what clues the police obtained through additional investigations and what the background of the prosecution's decision to prosecute was. It is interpreted that the court dismissed the warrant, judging it's difficult to see that Mr. Choi is at this point in danger of further destroying evidence or escaping. Apart from the lawsuit, the possibility of a settlement through behind-the-scenes negotiations between Nexon and Iron Mace was predicted, but the lawsuit battle intensified because the two sides could not find a point of contact. I'm guessing that means point of agreement. It is evaluated that the possibility of negotiations between the two sides was virtually defeated. Besides Nexon's application in a provisional injunction and the release of Dark and Darker is banned, Iron Mace will find it difficult to raise funds to sustain yeah, like the corporation's so development team without song. making a profit until the outcome of the main lawsuit, in this case, is the it is expected that additional investment will be attracted uh, to the Dark and Darker uh, game and the service will proceed depending on the outcome of the lawsuit on the main issue related to intellectual property rights intellectual property rights it is expected that the two sides will mutually distribute some of the proceeds of Dark and Darker or Iron Mace will monopolize the profits of Dark and Darker Iron Mace will own it outright this part is interesting. The prosecution and the police's request for an arrest warrant, the court found it unexpected because it's been two years since Mr. Choi stored the development resources in a separate space and the police conducted a search and seizure on two different occasions. So they, they tried to figure out what clues the police could have gotten uh, through the additional investigation they did um, and why the prosecution decided to prosecute him now. It's believed the court dismissed the warrant, judging it's difficult to see that Mr. Choi is at this point in danger of further destroying evidence or escaping. Because if you think about it, this, and it, this makes sense, because the civil suit that's going on, all the evidence that has been submitted, if Iron Mace, the company, is found to be using Nexon property, 
then it would be assumed that Choi would be the person that had supplied it to them because he's been there since the start. In the game, they have accused Iron Mace of having this game be very similar to P3 from the beginning. So Choi would have to be the person that brought all that shit in, according to Nexon, right? So what they're saying is, is that they threw it out pending what happens in the civil suit. And if the civil suit looks bad, then it's possible they could bring him back up on more charges. But you brought a pistol, you quick, suck. And it's already going through civil court, so why bother trying the same thing twice? At least for now. I guess there could be as a result of whatever the, the civil case finds, but they didn't have enough. There's not enough evidence. The court didn't find enough evidence to bother. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The court doesn't have enough evidence to see that. Huh. The court dismissed the warrant, judging it's difficult to see that Mr. Choi is at this point in danger of further destroying evidence or escape. To put this a different way, if they had found something incriminating, like actually incriminating, instead of just, he worked for Nexon, left Nexon, destroyed everything that was on his PCs per the agreement that he signed with Nexon, if anything other than that had happened, and they found something or we found or whatever on that son's property. Because you have to remember, the, the, the government going in and taking this stuff, they would have had to have gotten, I would assume, would have gotten samples of code or whatever from Nexon. They would have gotten a bunch of information, uh, including code, whatever, game files from Iron Mace. In fact, in the initial complaint that Nexon made, they cited similarities in those file names and all that other stuff, right? And then they said that Choi was under investigation, but they never said whether or not he had been found guilty or there was no arrest warrant, right? And in this case, that got vacated. I would assume that if they had something that they could really really go on where there was like if the court reviewed it and was like yeah like you know there's something here to, to try then okay cool but apparently the court didn't see any merit to it and they threw it out which is nuts that's nuts but from a social standpoint the arrest warrant getting tossed like actually getting tossed is a huge knock on the w side because in, in like the u.s case, for instance this is another argumentative point that we can make they tried to arrest him. The court found no evidence of wrongdoing and they threw it out. That's a big difference from the prosecution's office hasn't filed charges yet. Because they filed charges and then the court threw the fucking thing out. Which is huge. That's huge. Because if the government and all of their investigative power in a criminal case couldn't find evidence of him having stolen shit to the point where they vacated the case. I'm, d I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know why the file names would matter. They don't really. It was just them trying. They're, they're just drawing at straws. It ended up being 42 file names that were actually the same, that weren't part of like the core architecture of Unreal Engine. 42 files that were named the same, and they all had traditional naming conventions. Like one of them was literally Torch, another one was Fireball. Like, what the fuck else? You, like I said this before, what are you gonna call it? Like, stick with rag on fire. .uexp, right? Like, it, it push comes to shove, and they're like, well, he stole, he stole, he stole, he stole. Okay, well, there was a criminal investigation. They arrested him over it. It went to court. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? If there was evidence of something being wrong, if he had actually stolen anything, and it was provable, if they could prove that he stole it, and they, remember, they went to Iron Mace's office and they collected a bunch of shit. If they had to prove that he actually stole something, it would be laying on the table right now. They would have nailed him to the wall. It would have been the, dude, this would have been the easiest slam dunk civil case in the history of mankind. If at any point in the last two years, a prosecutor for the Korean government decided that he had violated the law and took him up on it, and they went to court in the court. Sorry about the audio. This the game easiest slam dunk case audio ever. Because then all you gotta do is put the timeline together, right? Like, it, it would have been the easiest thing in the world to do. But they didn't do that. And at the point in time where the civil case is really drawn down to the wire, they finally decide that they're gonna arrest him. And they put together uh, a cause for arrest. They arrested him, and then they went to the court and were like, look, here's the warrant. What do you think? Court and court goes, this looks sus as fuck. And they threw it out. So to me, that looks like you got a really hard uphill climb if you're gonna try and say that Iron Mace stole some shit. Because if, if they can't prove that Choi stole anything, how are they going to prove that Iron Mace did when they got the files from Iron Mace and the government milled through it all already? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, this is more, like, to me, this is more damning to Iron Mace, or to Nexon's side of their case, uh, of this case. This is more damning to Nexon's side of, of, of this case than anything else we have seen before. It doesn't, like, it just doesn't jive. How is he found 
innocent, but Iron Mace must still have stolen stuff. If he's the person that they're accusing of doing the stealing. If I were, if I were Nexon, I would have tried to pursue the criminal court case and tried to pressure some shit, see if they could actually get that pushed through, see if you could find SDF guilty. And then if he's guilty, all right, now you got something to work with. SDF is guilty, civil suit on, on Iron Mace, blah, blah, right? Like, but they haven't done that. And they failed, like that failed. This, this fucking failed. This is a Nexon L right here. I mean, it's a Nexon L for the civil case. Nexon has nothing to do or shouldn't have anything to do with the government's process, their due process and trying to figure out whether or not Choi is criminal, right? Its own government found him not guilty. So there is a difference between believing that somebody took something from you and being able to prove that somebody took something from you, right? Just like Video games. There's a difference between believing somebody is cheating at a video game versus them provably cheating at a video game. So in this case, if the court couldn't find good enough grounds, if the court couldn't find good enough grounds to be able to prosecute him, continue prosecuting him, and they threw the thing out, nice. and they sent him home. That don't look good for Nexon, man. That don't look good. Huge Ooh, W, can't get through there. Oh my god. Huge W. Players. Nexon has not even made a request. Sorry, guys. One second. In combat, trying to change the YouTube videos. Get more, uh, another video coming, playing in a second here, sorry. Get, yeah, we're somewhere safe. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is OnePeg. In this video, it almost feels as though it might be not not really news. I guess it's news. I guess it's technically news. It's just gonna be a short one because there isn't a whole lot here, but I will explain kind of how this works. Uh, Dark and Darker got a Peggy rating. And I know that that sounds kind of strange because I'm one peg and the whole Peggy thing. And you know, sometimes people call me Pegs or Peggy or Peggers or whatever. It, 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 pet names from the community. Love y'all. <laughs> Hey, and by the way, uh, as, speaking of the community, if you want to sub the channel here, that would be sweet. You know, maybe come by his Twitch stream once in a while, twitch.tv slash one peg. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done plugging Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash real underscore one peg. That would be also really awesome. I love my patrons. You guys are the best. Dark and Darker uh, got a Peggy rating. P-E-G-I. Now, that stands for the Pan-European Game Information, and that works very similar to the United States' ESRB that rates video games on levels of maturity according to things like the amount of violence in their games or sex, bad language, other audiovisual content that might be considered as not appropriate for all ages. So in the United States where things get rated like M for mature, etc., you know, where you have to have an ID in order to be able to buy the game, uh, same thing with Dark and Darker and the European uh, rating system. Peggy is in Europe. So in this case, Dark and Darker received a Peggy rating a few days ago, nice and this was Bunch posted on Reddit. Um, oh, and they, sorry, they bots. Rated Peggy Portals. 16. In this <laughs> no, case, they Dark say Darker. it's an adventure game set in medieval fantasy dungeons, which players band together to uncover mythical creatures, defeat monsters while staying one step ahead. Uh, they gave it this rating because of violence, the use of drugs, basically chugging computers in the game if you're a cleric, uh, was something that they thought was more like adult in theme. And obviously the, uh, the the hack and slash violence and the little blood splashes and that kind of stuff. I think the rating. Like these other players run away. Really like made for younger people, I don't think. And then plus you have the in-game boy and stuff, and people can say weird things. Anyway, while this isn't necessarily news, the one thing that I did kind of want to draw people's attention to is the rumor. People seem to think that because there was a Peggy Man, that rating that was given to the game, so that must mean the game guys. is destined for early access at they some really point in the near future. Audio. Now, obviously, the guys over at Iron Mace are continuing to stay the course. They're continuing to develop the game. 
This is likely something that they applied for in advance. However, the process is somewhat automated. Uh, in, in this case, and I'll take you back to this, to the, to the Peggy webpage. Um, the way that they talk about this is that what you do is you, you fill out a, two, an hi. online application for every <laughs> version of your game. And that online application, based on the hopefully truthful responses that you give it, will come back with a provisional rating. It gives you that provisional rating, but it still gets reviewed. So there is a provisional rating. The rating system automatically determines a provisional age rating with content descriptors. So that is done provisionally. From there, the administrators receive the game content from the publisher and then review the provisional age rating. And then this says NICAM takes care of the games rated 3 and 7, whereas the DSC rating board reviews 12, 16, and 18 ratings. Depending on the review, the administrators approve or alter the provisional rating, and Peggy, uh, and Peggy delivers a license to the publisher for use of the age rating icon and the relevant content descriptors. So I don't know whether this is provisional based on that application or if this is based on a review of the administrators. It's very possible that this can change over time because we're looking at early access and then the eventualities of whatever the game turns into upon full quote unquote release. But this looks as though it was something that was applied for a while ago. Even though it came out as a provisional thing, it doesn't necessarily mean the game is ready for release because this screenshot exists and this is an old Reddit thread from two years ago that lists the time that the game was rated and then how long it took for the game to actually be released. So in this case, we have Ghost of Tsushima took 24 days, but you can ratchet that all the way up to 218 days for Cyberpunk, which was 2020 May and didn't release until 2020 of December. Although these were all done with the calendar year. Uh, it looks as though the average time here was somewhere around, somewhere around 100 days, let's say. So it could very well be that the game doesn't end up seeing shelves, if at all, for like three months. Because if we're going to go on the average, it's probably about three months. We don't know, though. So I just want to throw that out there. Like I said, this is almost sure not, not news. It's just that they got a Peggy rating. There is no ESRB rating as of now, by the way. It's only for Europe. It very possibly could be that we'll see an ESRB rating. I, I have no idea. I'm just kind of wanting to, <laughs> I guess, show you guys what exists. Uh, for those of you wondering about the court case and Pacer and all that other stuff, uh, Pacer has not updated anything as of yet. It is very possible that the meeting happened already with the litigators and the judge regarding uh, discovery and that whole process. But that doesn't necessarily mean it will make it into It's kind of a rarity for those closed door meetings to end up making it onto the official record for the to see because unless there's a, like an order issue from the judge and a reason behind that, we don't typically see any of that stuff. My guess would be is that we will see whether or not there is a stay granted on the motions or if any of the motions were granted. Um, we'll see what those look like in the coming days, maybe. But something's going to happen inside of the next couple of weeks. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated as soon as something happens. I promise you I will make a video about it. Hell, it could be tonight. There's still another three hours as of the recording of this video. There's still another three hours on the clock for uh, the court to have concluded for its day, and there could be an upload today. I don't know. But we will obviously keep an eye on it. Okay? Thank you guys so much for coming and checking out this video. I very, very much appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you for lending me your eyeballs. I will see you in the next one. Peace. The Korean warrant for SDF, also known as Mr. Choi, was dismissed. Why was it dismissed? What do we know about it? And what happens next? We're about to find out. What's up guys, it's Derp here with another video about the Dark and Dark Court case. This time we're looking at the dismissal of the Korean warrant for SDF's arrest. What I'm gonna cover is what happened. Did Mr. Choi go to jail? Why was it dismissed? I'm going to clear up some misinformation. What happens next? And then I'm going to wrap up with the LBR and timeline update at the end. So if you want to just kind of figure out the long and short of it, jump right in the description and I'm going to try to put a link in the description. Before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's been watching live, who's been subscribing, leaving comments, and going to, or joining the guild. It's a 
like there's a huge thank you to everybody shown here for the supers membership and support i can't do this without you guys if you want to get your name in the scroll click the membership links for the guild below either the join the by either joining the patreon or youtube memberships but yeah let's jump right into it what happened uh did mr Choi go to jail so according to mtn mtn news and a news outlet in korea a bunch of stuff happened but the truth is, we don't know if Mr. Choi was actually sent to jail or not. The article is entirely in Korean. Uh, I've only viewed AI translations and Google translations with a little bit of localization done by like randos on, on Reddit. So I'm getting as much of this out. I'm getting as much out of it as I can. Um, but if you want to read it for yourself, feel free. I'm going to add the link in the description. So. Without having a clear understanding of the translation, we know he went to the courthouse. He possibly actually did go to jail for a little bit, but Dude. either whether at the courthouse or in jail, thought I saw him for a second. There. Uh, he awaited the decision for the warrant. By he, he like turned himself over to arrest to await for the, the warrant. See if they can Regardless of whether or not he was actually in jail for a time, is something kind of beyond the point because the end result was that the warrant was dismissed as of earlier this morning. So SDF is officially back to work developing the game that we all love, and I couldn't be happier to hear it. Like, I am so happy that SDF, SDF is not in jail. Thank you, SDF. You are a champion, and I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you stay out of jail. This game rules. Please finish it, and please, you know, get it to early access. We love you. But more importantly, why was it dismissed? And what's up with all, what's up with everything people are saying on Reddit and on YouTube and everything? Uh, what's actually true, what's not? So, we know it was actually safe. So, it's time to get into the meat of the issue. First and foremost, the arrest warrant was dismissed, not the criminal case. Nothing in the translation states that the criminal case was vacated or dismissed, uh, just the warrant. What it does cover is that the more important issue right now is going to be the civil cases, not the criminal case. So, and if we're looking for more information of how the cases are gonna shape up, we should look to the civil cases, but it doesn't say anywhere that the case was actually vacated. That's a mistranslation or what? and a misunderstanding of a poor Google trial. Only the warrant was dismissed. To add to this, it was dismissed because the court didn't feel that Mr. Choi was a flight risk or that he would be able to destroy the evidence. You know, they've already held two investigations. They most likely have all the evidence they would find already and they've been looking for two years, right? So, according to the article, they didn't dismiss the case or the warrant because of a lack of evidence against Mr. Choi. Like, it just didn't happen. The article itself. It is interpreted the court dismissed the warrant, judging that it is difficult to see that Mr. Choi is at this point in danger of further destroying evidence or escaping. It is easy to misunderstand or mix true things when reading poorly translated information. So be careful. Uh, be careful when other people are reading translated stuff and don't really understand what they're reading. Be careful when you read translations especially by AI or Google, there's a reason why these things aren't like certified and report to use. Unfortunately, it's just the only inf source of information we have until people start doing localized translations. Of the There's This is all we have to go on, right? Is Google translations, poor AI translations. So if anybody knows a Google or a Korean translator, hit me up. Uh, another piece of porn translation is the part about confusion as to why the warrant was issued. When translated by Google or AI, it reads that the court or legal community was confused as to why the warrant was being issued. However, when read in a more localized translation, it reads closer to the publisher or confusion for the, re the reader as to why it was e issued. However, this is kind of based on loosely based on people from Reddit, so take it with a grain of salt. So, before I give you the Reddit translation, I'm going to give you how it's translated by Google, the article. And the article itself says the prosecution and the police's re request for an arrest warrant was accepted as unexpected. Uh, they put that not in quote, they like semi quote it. 
This is because more than two years have passed since Mr. Choi's stored in P3 development, resources in a separate space, and the police conducted a search and seizure on two occasions and had completed collecting related evidence. So even in this poor trans translation, it's difficult to really call uh, draw a correlation to the court, the police, or the prosecution being confused about why it was why the warrant happened. However, a redditor who claims to be able to read or speak Korean posted a more clear translation as seen below. But remember, this is just some random dude on Reddit, so it's not exactly a scholarly journal or court translator. In Korean, the original text, no sentence. There's no sentence that says the judge found the arrest warrant surprising or unexpected. I guess the translation showed such sentence, then it might be a missing translation of the sentence. The prosecution police's request for arrest was accepted as unexpected. And then he goes on to say, then the rough translation gave you to fail comprehensive reading. So this, it seems like Google, or English is this guy's second language. This is because the original te text does not even implicitly imply such content. For, for to whom it might be to the public, which is what they're saying is more likely, so in relation to the public or in relation to the editor himself is where the confusion is, or unexpected, um, not the court. So the way I find the way I find this translation is that the author or reader might be confused as to why the warrant was issued after two years, which I completely agree with. It is weird and it is confusing. I would love to know why they waited two years to issue a warrant. Uh, but that's not the same thing as the judge, the police, or the prosecution. Which leads me to my next point of information. The prosecution in the criminal case in Korea has nothing to do with Nexon. Anybody saying that Nexon is behind the warrant being pushed is inextricably false. Like, like that is just not possible. Unless something illegal is going on. To the best of my knowledge, and according to the U.S. Bureau of Judge, uh, Justice Statistics, .gov, uh, the prosecution of the accused is conducted by a prosecutor who belongs to the Ministry of Justice and is appointed by the government. That's a quote from a government agency ways. in the United States. This is similar to how, to how the U.S. state attorney ha handles federal criminal cases in the United States. It's not just some random lawyer from Nexon issuing warrants. It's not even close to how this works. They may or may not have waited until just now to formally press charges. That's how they might have instigated an arrest warrant, which would trigger a warrant. But that in itself would be highly suspicious behavior in court. Waiting two years to file formal charges against somebody is possible. At least I'm pretty sure it's possible. But from what I've read, like, just straight up, legal, or Nexon has no legal means to issue or request warrants themselves. They can't just be like, hey guys, down at the police station, I want you guys I want you guys to go arrest this guy. And they're like, yes sir, Mr. Nexon, let's go. That's not that's not reality. Um, any speculation otherwise is basically conspiracy. It would mean Nexon broke Korean federal laws, as did the party who requested the warrant illegally, so the police. So that would mean that Nexon and the police are intertwined in some kind of federal, like federal offense, uh, like some kind of felony conspiracy. And those are extremely bold claims that don't need to be flying around. So there's a lot of misconception here or mis uh, mis misinformation here. Uh, there's no con great con conspiracy going on. What ended up happening was the police are probably really realistically, and this is me going off script and spe speculation on my part. But in my opinion, the most likely scenario is the simplest of the scenario. The police are probably just like, hey, well, we're not finding anything new. Let's try to push for this arrest warrant. Now, they found everything they can. If they, if there is any evidence, they've already found it. Uh, they're not digging up anything new. They're not going to access anything new. And Discovery is now closing this little case after the investigation. So nothing, nothing new is going to be forthcoming. So if there's going to be time for this case to go to trial, it would be right now. Uh, the criminal case. They might be waiting until after the civil case is settled down and they figure out the injunctions and then doing the criminal case because Mr. Choi is involved in both. But realistically, they're probably just doing it because they already have the information they need. Uh, they're not going to be able to find anything else and they know that. So if they're going to put out an arrest warrant, it would be around this time. Uh, it's probably as simple as that. Now, obviously, that arrest warrant was denied, 
This doesn't mean that Mr. Short is going to go to jail. This doesn't mean that he can't go to jail. Uh, it means that he's not going to jail right now. It means that he's not going to await trial in jail. And it saves them from going through the bond process, right? So if he's not a flight risk and he's not going to be able to destroy evidence because they already have it, why would they put him in jail uh, to pay a bond, just to pay a bond and then get out anyway? It would be unnecessary to arrest him at this stage anyway, especially if they're awaiting trial. So, what happens next, and what's the TLDR and the timeline update? So, for now, there's not much we can do but wait. We're still waiting on the outcome of what, uh, what ha whatever happened on the 26th. That might take up to two weeks from that day. Uh, hopefully, we'll get news either tonight or Monday, but who knows? Uh, Pacers servers are still having issues. Luckily, they have server maintenance scheduled for Sunday. So we'll, we should know more about the U.S. case on Monday at the earliest or at the latest around August 9th. And that's just re relating to whatever happened on the ECC or the FRCP uh, 26 conference, at least to the best of my understanding. What that info will look like depends on the conference, how the conference went. And I just put a little snippet in, in here of showing that pacer, at least on my end, is showing that it's undergoing maintenance. And it's been having server issues for the past, like, four days. So, since, like, the 25th. The 25th, either late 25th or some kind of server issues. It's probably us, to be honest. <laughs> Just clicking refresh on Pacer. But, they don't. After, after that, there's a few more dates coming up that are important for discovery. But shouldn't really be too enlightening for, to the general public. August 9th and August 23rd are important days. That's when the initial disclosure deadline is and the joint status report deadline. Basically, when each party is, they get together what each party wants for discovery and they start presenting uh, actual like requests for information and stuff like that. And then they go over a status report. Hey, bird. Uh, as for Mr. Choi, we don't really know what's going to happen. He can still be arrested at some point. However, the next time that risk that should pop up would be towards the end of trial. And for the to the best of my knowledge, that hasn't even officially started yet. There's been an investigation for two years, and the trial is like still pending. So when that will be, we have no idea. You know, and that's up to the Korean courts. The case is ongoing, to the best of my the best of my understanding, and I have yet to see some kind of formal timeline. So if I were to assume, I would guess that the trial is somewhat imminent, based on the fact that prosecution attempted to serve a warrant. That usually only happens right before the trial if the police think that the suspect might flee or they feel that they have enough evidence to convict them on or they might be or if they feel that they're a risk of destroying even more evidence right so why the prosecution issued the warrant is unknown and will probably remain unknown but it's probably a simple answer of now was the time to do it because what we do know is what happened in similar cases with ncsoft versus blue hole at least one person was sentenced to 18 months of jail slash prison time. That sentence, according to what I've been reading recently, was later commuted to time served. So essentially what the judge said was, you've been in trial for two years. Uh, you've already been to jail for at least a little bit and paid bond or whatever, or, or you're, you've been dealing with the court for two years. So we're gonna commute your sentence and give you two more years of probation. Is what I've been reading recently. But again, the translation issues make that a little bit unclear. Everything I'm reading that's translated from Korean is either done by Google translation, AI translation, or very slowly through with the help of friends. So if I was a betting man, I would say Mr. Troy will spend at least a little time in jail if he already has not already, or you know, get a few years of probation. There are already liens on his property in case he loses the case and is forced to pay some kind of restitution to Nexon. As far as I know, he hasn't actually lost anything yet, but the threat of him losing his home, cars, and other assets, as well as his freedom, freedom is still very real. Uh, for now, all we can do is hope and wait, right? We just hope that Mr. Choice stays out of jail. So please show the guys some support, get on the Discord, put in a quick, we love SDF, and, and show the guys some support. Um, that's probably the best and the only thing we can really do right now. A warrant, and I want to make this very clear, a warrant is not an indicator of guilt. Until proven guilty, and possibly even after Choi, Mr. Choi is found, if he is found guilty, um... Get another pod open? 
he deserves nothing but our respect, dignity, and kindness. Right? He's, he's fighting for us, he's fighting for us, and he's fighting for uh, something he loves and his dreams. So we should support that in any way possible. We should go on the Discord, go on the Reddit, and just, you know, show how much you, you care about these guys and you want how much you want the game and what that would mean to you. Let's go, uh, boys. Give them, give them a little love. But what's the TLDR? Mr. Troy's arrest warrant was dismissed and Google Translate sucks. Uh, don't take what it says at face value. His warrant had nothing to do with lack of evidence and was more about the police thinking he's a flight risk or capable of destroying the evidence, which the judge obviously didn't agree with. No, the judge isn't confused as to why they re what requested the uh, arrest warrant. The author of the article is, or the people reading it. Lastly, Nexon has nothing to do with the prosecution. Federal crime cases are handled by the Ministry of Justice in Korea, not some biased corporate lawyer getting paid to screw people over. That's just a bunch of nonsense, so don't believe it. Again, I want to point out a slight correction of my last video. It may be possible that there was only one personal person at NCOF, NCSoft versus Blue Hole case that went to jail. That would be from Blue Hole. Uh, that guy is now the CEO of Nexon Game. There are articles that read that they were sentenced to 18, 18 months in jail. However, their sentence may have been commuted to time served in lieu of two years of probation or house arrest. It's hard to say because of the way it's translated. Again, it's a translation issue. I'm still digging into what the actual localized tra translation would be. And I'm talking to people who are way more knowledgeable about me on the subject of Korean law and the Korean language. I'm always going to try to do my best to update things with any new information, even if it's from Kate, like a three month, like if I'm finding new information about a th video that's three months old, I'm still going to try to update you. Right? So with that said, here's a quick update of the current timeline. The important dates related to the U.S. court cases are August 9th, which is the deadline for initial disclosures. I'm going to make a video about these two deadlines pretty soon because we kind of need to know what they are before they come up. And then August 23rd is the joint status report deadline. And then in Korea, what we know is sometime between around August 21st through September 21st is when the preliminary injunction hearing should happen. According to this article and others, most likely the end of August uh, to early September. As always, you guys are all champions. I love you guys. I can't thank you enough for your continued support. If you're looking for a more in-depth discussion, please check out my VODs from my live streams. They are usually somewhere from two to six hours long and hold a lot for more information in a community podcast style format. I haven't went live in a little bit. I apologize. I plan on going live more. And I actually have a pretty big update plan that I want to talk about in a, in a later video. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, go do all the things. If you want to access more content, join the guild by following either YouTube membership or Patreon link below. You'll get your name in the intro scroll. Uh, just so everybody knows how awesome you are and I'm working on making exclusive more exclusive content for members um, like thank you messages and unedited videos that I'm posting early and stuff like that I love you guys I hope you have an awesome rest of your day peace
change it up it used to be like three pods that would like spawn in one spot now it's like freaking five or six that'll spawn in like the same location i guess they're trying to force more uh, pvp with that
You ready? Hello? Yo, bro, you should wait for us. Uh, okay, you're just here. Thank God. this game where a knife does more damage than a pistol. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it for today, guys. I will probably be back tomorrow. And hopefully we can keep this on a daily, semi-daily uh, basis. I know it's called the, the Daily Dark and Darker Show. Sometimes it's not so daily. I'm just starting out with it, so uh, bear with me on that. Um, but I'd like to keep it, have it be daily, close to daily, you know, five, six days a week. Um, particularly when the game's obviously out, I'll be playing it like crazy. But in the meantime, I'd like to also cover the latest news and uh, theories and studying breaking down games uh, on this uh, long form uh, streams like this. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna upload this here soon. And hopefully, I know this one's like uh, more of a actual video. It wasn't actually live, but my plan is to actually be start doing these live. So if you actually made it to the end of this, amazing. I appreciate it. Uh, much love. See you guys soon.